Hi there, my name is James Whistler from Acid Yellow and this video is designed to show you how to build, uh, design and use custom design themes within Ironspeed Designer. So what are design themes? Design themes are a collection of files which control the look and feel of your application um, as defined and built by Ironspeed Designer. By default, Designer comes with a number of predefined and pre-built themes that are available for you to select from. Let's, let's have a look at some of those. If we go to the Tools option and Application Wizard, we will be able to see the various page styles which are available to us. I think there are 27 currently available. Uh, they're all named after mountain ranges. Um, for example, here we've got the Adams uh, design theme. The coloured blobs to the right of each name indicate which uh, editions of Ironspeed Designer those themes are available with. So Adams, for example, is only available with the Enterprise Edition, which I'm running here. Alps, by contrast, is available within the Professional Edition as well as Enterprise. And I believe Everest may well be the only theme which is available within the free version as well. However, so there are a number of different themes available for you to select at the point of which you generate your application. Um, they vary by color, content and style and that's defined within various files within each theme um, such as the CSS or custom style sheet definitions and the various images files that are associated with that theme. There may, of course, be scenarios in which none of the themes which are shipped with the product perfectly suit your requirements. Um, and in that scenario, you may well wish to design and build a custom design theme. Let's just talk briefly about why you might want to do that. Because there are two different reasons of why you may or may not actually need to go as far as creating a custom theme. For example, if we were building an application and we wanted our theme to look broadly similar to the Alps theme, which I've got selected in the window ahead of me at the moment, there would, there's nothing to stop me from building that application, generating it using the Alps theme, and then customizing that theme within my generated application to reflect the changes that I need. So it could be that I change some of the image files within that theme, or I change the CSS definitions um, to make that theme within that one particular generated application look exactly as I would like it to. However, let's consider by contrast the scenario where I work for a particular company or a particular customer of mine may want multiple iron speed applications to be generated and each one of those they want to follow a design theme which suits their purposes best and which is not perfectly matched to any of the predefined styles that come with Ironspeed Designer. In that scenario, I would choose to create my own custom design theme, such that every single application that I then go forward to generate with Ironspeed, I can select that theme as simply as I'm selecting Alps ahead of me now, and know that all of the pages generated by Ironspeed will reflect that one theme as I've changed it. So, for ex in example, if I just close down the wizard for a moment, uh, the categories, uh, or rather the uh, Southwind example I'm looking at here in the categories page, um, is developed with a particular theme. And that uses, as you can see by expanding the app themes folder within the presentation layer, you can see that this was built and generated using the Kilimanjaro theme. So there are two different outputs of having selected that theme. The first of these is the style sheet or the CSS files. Um, we have the base styles file here and in this file, this file all of the custom style sheet definitions associated with Kilimanjaro can be found. The styles file underneath the base styles is where I may wish to make my customizations um, should there be any changes I'd like to make um, over and above the standard uh, theme that comes with Kilimanjaro. In addition to that because I've selected the Kilimanjaro theme, underneath here I have an images folder. And the images 
that are built and, and included within your generated application vary depending on which theme you select at generate time. So all of these images that are within this folder are specific to the Kilimanjaro theme. Um, I'm not necessarily <laughs> unfortunately selecting some great examples for you there but there'd be nothing to stop you if you would decided that you wanted to build a one-off application and change that theme to introduce your own image files within that folder just for that one application. However, we don't want to do that. In this demonstration we'd like to go ahead and understand how to build our own custom design theme. So let's have a look at how we would go about doing that such that we could reuse it multiple times for multiple applications. So rather than editing it within this one single uh, generated application I'm going to switch across to the files within so I'm going to the folder C program files iron speed and then the particular version of designer that I'm using which in this case is version 6.2.1 now within there I have a design themes folder and if I open that folder there is a folder associated with each theme available to me within there so let's take the Kilimanjaro example and have a look at the content of that file so in there we have the images folder if I click through there using thumbnail view you can see all of the different images that are included within the Kilimanjaro theme above there I also have, or within that folder, I also have the base styles sheet. Um, I have the standard version, a left, left to right language support version, a right to left language support version, and then the styles sheet which we looked at previously, which we know at this stage, um, particularly because we're looking at the installation of Einspeed Design, would always be empty. There, there is no override content included in there. So let's create our own design theme. I'm going to take Kilimanjaro. I'm simply going to copy the folder and create my own version. And in this case, I'm going to call this folder Whistler. Pretty appropriate, actually, really, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so we've now got the Whistler folder, and I can go into that folder and I can make changes to the style sheets that are contained within it and the images that are contained within it and know that any changes that I make within here are going to be applied whenever I select the Whistler theme from that point on. So let's go back into Designer. I'm just going to go and do a view refresh to force Designer to go and refresh its understanding of the definitions of those files. And if I now go into the application wizard, I should have a Whistler definition and there it is. In this case, the Whistler definition looks exactly the same as Kilimanjaro. I haven't made any changes to it. There is something which I should point out to you in case uh, you go ahead and make changes and wonder where they've gone. These files or these images that you see here are included within your application folder. They are within this thumbnails directory. Or are they not? No, they're in the page definition thumbnails here. So these are all of the image files that you see um, when you go through and use Designer itself. And in addition to there, we also have this particular page style file. And that's the, the little GIF file that gets picked up by IronSpeed when we look in the wizard. So please don't delude yourself <laughs> into thinking that if you make changes to the theme, um, such as the custom style sheets or the image files, that this particular uh, image within the application wizard will immediately reflect those changes. Um, you would need to go back and build your own thumbnail image file um, in, in addition uh, to be sure that when you're looking within Designer, Designer's view would reflect what you're looking at there. So what are the sort of more common areas of a theme that we might wish to amend? Um, we can change all sorts of different criteria and uh, as you might well see from the Iron Speed help, the vast majority of the look and feel of your pages can be changed by playing with the custom style sheet definitions associated with the theme. Um, clearly you're entirely at liberty to also go ahead and amend uh, all of the image files associated with that theme, but in the vast majority of cases 
the changes that you make to the custom style sheets may well be able to en enable you to achieve the look and feel that you're looking for. So by that I mean typical things would uh, that you could change would be things such as the font size, um, the color of any of the elements of the screen, and items such as the menu position. However, now that we're using master pages within Ironspeed Designer, in addition to being able to change the theme, we could change master pages at build time to change the page layout and structure. Um, that, that's a new feature within uh, Ironspeed version 6 that hasn't been available to you previously uh, and you're entirely at liberty to change all of that um, and to enable it, it or use it rather to enable you to customize your page layouts. So that really concludes this brief introduction into creating a custom design theme. The important point to remember is that if you're only really interested in making a design theme change for one particular application then there's nothing to stop you just purely going ahead selecting the default theme shipped with designer which closest matches your requirements and customizing it within that one application. Creating a custom design theme is really only something that you would go ahead and do uh, if you wanted to reuse and, and make a number of different applications with that common theme and in doing so by making those changes within the installation folder of Ironspeed Designer you can simply pick them out within the wizard and build the new applications to your heart's content using that new theme. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.